a breath that sweet <laughs> and a smile that dazzles, it's Colgate Tooth Powder. <laughs> and for a riot of fun, it's America's wacky, wistful, wonderful scatterbrain, Judy Canova. <laughs> Thank you, folks, and I'm sure glad to see y'all tonight. Uh, I know that I ought to be getting back to Rancho Canova, but I just had to stay over in Hollywood to see the premiere of that swell picture, This is the Army. You should have seen the celebrities it was arriving. If I do say so, I was pretty up, too. Uh, as I walked in the lobby, a fella said I looked like I just stepped out of a magazine. Say, what popular mechanics? <laughs> You know what? That great big fella, Laird Kriegar, got out of a car and walked in, and one soldier turned to his buddy and says, Look, the civilians are traveling in convoys now. <laughs> then Dorothy Lamour arrived in her sarong. It was so quiet, everybody was waiting for a pen to drop. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I finally got me a seat between Don Wilson and Edward Arnold. Uh, I didn't see much of the picture, but it sure got a good massage. <laughs> they was a... Was a sailor there sitting in back of me, and he says, What's going on here? I said, This is the Army. A few minutes later, I felt an arm slip around my neck. I said, What's going on here? He said, This is the Navy. <laughs> you know, we must have annoyed the society woman next to him because she looked at me through a lorgnette. That's a dirty look on a stick. <laughs> but, uh, I, I couldn't hear a thing anyhow because the fellow in front of me had a baby on his lap, and the kid was crying something awful. Finally, I tapped him on the shoulder. I said, what's the matter? Didn't you bring a bottle? He said, yeah, but the kid wants milk. <laughs> uh, after, after the picture, a soldier took me home in his motorcycle. When I got home, I says, well, sir, that's the last time I'll ever ride in a sidecar. He says, lady, this motorcycle ain't got no sidecar. I said, shucks, no wonder I'm out of breath. <laughs> Well, Judy, if you've got your breath back, how about a song, huh? Why don't you dig way down in that songbook and bring up that old favorite, Just Because? All right, Mr. Niles. Just because you think you're so handsome. Just because you think you're so hot, you ain't so hot. Just because you think you've got something that nobody else has got. You ain't got a doggone thing, but girl, you made me spend all my money. But I'm telling you, honey, I'm leaving you Because, just because A little leap, deep, 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 A little leap, deep, 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 A little leap, deep, a leap, deep, a leap, deep, 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 Just cause you think I'll be awesome Now just cause you think I'll be blue You won't be blue Thanks just cause you think I'll be foolish No, no Just stay home and wait for you I ain't waiting on nobody, son Now, though, you make me drop all my boyfriend You laughed and call me Miss Patty Claus But I'm telling you, honey I'm through with you Because, just because Because I'm through with you Only little if you Through only little if you Through <laughs> I was down at the corner grocery store, and Mickey Rooney come by and dropped me a note. It says, meet me at 8 tonight. And I got to go shopping for a store-bought an evening gown right now. My, my, Mickey Rooney. Honey, I know that one of them movie stars will fall for you, because you're the most beautiful, most glamorous, and the sweetest girl I ever did see. Oh, Geranium, you're just saying that, because it's true. <laughs> well, honey, you sure is lucky having a date tonight. I sure wish my boyfriend, Pomeroy, was here. Haven't you had a date since Pomeroy went in the Army? Oh, I had one little old date. Bunch of us went for a ride in a car. Me and my date had to sit in the rumble seat. You mean to tell me, as big as you are, that you and a fella sat in the rumble seat? We sure did. 
I wonder what that'll become of him. <laughs> you know, you know, the, uh, Geranium, the trouble with you is that you should order reduce. Why, Pomeroy says with my figure, I could be Miss America. Yep, and part of Canada and Mexico, too. <laughs> well, this ain't getting me no evening gown. Uh, my date with Mickey Rooney's at 8 o'clock, and here it is, 4.30. Come on, Sylvester's yep. waiting outside with the car. Oh, Sylvester! Sylvester! Here I am, Miss Judy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Why ain't Bill with a mule hitched to the station wagon? Well, I left her over in the stable. Uh, did you make a nice bed for her in her stall? I sure did. <laughs> yes, sir. I was in there pitching. <laughs> Come on, let's get started downtown. Oh, shades of disappointment. <laughs> Something's wrong with the motor. Oh, well, why won't it run? Well, the spark plugs are foul. <laughs> the distributor's on the strip. There's a leak in the <laughs> cylinder head gasket. And oh, yes. <laughs> the starter's <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Of it, you're losing compression. <laughs> Here, come on, let me try it. Get in, Geranium. Yeah. All right, Miss Judy, turn on the switch. And then step on a starter and hold down the accelerator. Yeah, and you better put up the top 200 and start in the rain. <laughs> oh, come on, Geranium. I reckon we'll have to take the streetcar. See you later, Sylvester. All right, Miss Judy. Hurry up, Miss Judy. Here comes the streetcar now. Press, lady. Hey, pardon me, lady. Hey, motorman, let me off quick. What's the man? I haven't got my glasses with me, and I thought this was a hamburger wagon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you sit down, Miss Judy? There's a space. Oh, I can't sit in that little space. Uh, just a minute, honey. I'll wedge in. <laughs> hey, motorman, stop the car. Four people just fell out the back. <laughs> oh, look, there's the stove. Let's get off. What's the idea? Four bells. I just ran over Jimmy Fiddler. <laughs> let me out in front. Out! Oh, let me out in back, too. Come on, Geranium. Yes, ma'am. I'll run in the fence. <laughs> My, there sure is a lot of folks in here this afternoon. Oh, look, there's Mr. Niles over there by the music counter. Yoo-hoo! Mr. Niles! Oh, hello there, Judy. You'll say this is a surprise. What are you doing in here? Well, sir, I got to get myself an evening gown. Got a date tonight with Mickey Rooney. With Mickey Rooney? Yep. He dropped me a note in the grocery store, and he says, Meet me at 8 tonight, Mickey Rooney. Uh, what are you doing here, Mr. Niles? Well, I'm helping Eddie Dean sell his song. Uh, there he is over by the piano. Oh, Eddie, here's Judy. Oh, hello, Miss Judy. Hi, Eddie. Say, I'm plugging a song from a new picture at Vitamin Studios. All right, Niles, let's get a crowd. Okay. All right, right over this way, ladies and gentlemen, we have a star here from Vitamin Studios, Mr. Eddie Dean, who will sing for you in just a few moments. You better practice up, Eddie. Shine on, shine on, harvest moon. Boy, oh boy, I can't pass this one up. When Colgate Tooth Powder shines up your teeth, you'll forget all about the shine on the moon. Yes, sir, Colgate Tooth Powder does such a swell job removing dull film and surface stains from teeth that it reveals all their natural brilliance and luster. That's the shine Colgate Tooth Powder gives you. All right, go ahead, Eddie, sing some more. All right, how's this? You leave me breathless. Oh, that's fine, Eddie. Colgate Tooth Powder cleans your breath as it cleans your teeth. And when you have a combination like that, a breath that's sweet and a smile that dazzles, well, boy, you've really got something. Oh, sweet mystery of life. Oh, no, Eddie, there's no mystery about the way Colgate Tooth Powder sweetens your breath. Scientific tests have definitely proved that Colgate Tooth Powder stops oral unpleasing breath. Stops it instantly in seven cases out of ten. Oh, now, why don't you take a powder? Well, why doesn't everyone take a powder? Colgate Tooth Powder. Take it to brush your teeth night and morning and before every date. And I'll promise you a breath that sweet and a smile that dazzles. Don't forget, Colgate Tooth Powder. Well, now, how about me? Oh, yes. Here's Eddie Dean. He's going to lasso a rainbow for you. <laughs> Gonna last for a rainbow for you. Gonna 
gonna last for a rainbow or two. Got my wings from Uncle Sam. You don't know how proud I am. Gonna last for a rainbow for you. Fare thee well, Texas Bell. Keep my heart, for you know I'll be true. I'll ride back when the sun is shining on a cloud with a silver lining. Gonna last for a rainbow for you. Keep my heart, for you know I'll be true. I'll ride back when the sun is shining on a cloud with a silver lining. Gonna last for a rainbow for you. Just swell. Well, thank you, Miss Judy. Say, I'll be through here at 5 o'clock, and well, I'd like to take you to dinner. Oh, I'm sorry, Eddie, but you see, I've got a date tonight with Mickey Rooney at 8 o'clock. Maybe some other time, oh, huh? Oh, shucks. I was hoping that after dinner I could take you roller skating. Yeah, you did that last night. You took her roller skating, and what happened? You left her on her own all night. <laughs> <laughs> and now you keep all of it. Oh, all right, Mr. Niles. Now stop that. Eddie meant well. Come on with me and help me pick out a dress. So long, Eddie. Mm, so long, Miss Judy. Let me see. Now, the ladies' department is on the fourth floor. Hey, look. Look at the sign on the elevator. Due to the shortage of help, customers will please run the elevators themselves. Golly, I don't know how to run an elevator. I do. I used to work where they had a dumb waiter. He taught me how to run the elevator, too. Come on, get in. <laughs> fourth floor, please. Yes, ma'am. Take me back down to the fourth floor. Going down. <laughs> I can't understand it. I'm overshooting. <laughs> What's the matter, Miss Judy? Did I come down too fast for you? No, Geranium. I always wear my girdle under my chin. <laughs> Get up to the fourth floor. Oh, there's a floor walker. Uh, mister, where will I find the osculator? Uh, madam, you mean the escalator. An osculator is someone who grabs you and kisses you. Where will I find the osculator? <laughs> there, let's stay in the basement, honey. Always finds a lot of stuff in the bargain basement. My, my, look at all them pretty statues. Yeah, they are lovely, but I ain't interested in statues. Hey, mister, wait a minute. What are you doing? Uh, I got a habit of picking up things and turning them over to see where they're made. Well, put me down. <laughs> hey, look, Judy. There's the dress department over there. Oh, yeah, gee, they sure are beautiful, ain't they? May I show the mamzelle? Yes, sir. I'd like to get myself an evening gown and a fur piece. Uh, could I suggest a silver fox? Well, that would be pretty, but it's got to be genuine. Oh, oui, mademoiselle. Andre, one genuine silver fox fur. <laughs> there you are, one genuine silver fox fur. Service for you. All right, I'll take it. And here is an evening gown that is divine. It has accordion pleats. Are they real accordion pleats? Mm, run your fingers over them, mademoiselle. 
See, I'll take it. Yeah. Every time... Every time I sit down, I can play all or nothing at all. And now, may I suggest an evening wrap? Uh, just let me slip this model on your shoulders. This is called our blackout cape. Blackout cape? Well, gee, what makes it so heavy in the back? Mademoiselle, it has a built-in air raid warden and a bucket of sand. <laughs> Judy, don't forget your date with Mickey Rooney at 8 o'clock. You better hurry. All right, Mr. Niles. Miss Judy, wait for me. While I'm here, I'd like to get a pair of slacks. You wear size 52, don't you? Yes, sir. How'd you know? I used to make styles for sea biscuits. <laughs> uh, uranium. I, I'm afraid we ain't got time. Come on, we, we got to take the streetcar home. Come on, Mr. Niles. <laughs> Well, it's 8 o'clock, Judy. If you really had a date with Mickey Rooney, he ought to be here. Now, Mr. Niles, don't you go teasing Miss Judy. She done told you that he done dropped a note for her in the grocery store. Oh, gee, I bet that's Mickey now. Hello? Hello, senorita. I hate myself two pesos, two pieces for talking in your face. Oh, it's you, Pedro. Say, uh, how's lover boy, my pig? Oh, the pig, she is very sick. But a friend of mine is making him some pills. He belongs to the International Chemist Union. Oh, I see you. Peekaboo, I see you too, Senorita. <laughs> Pedro, you know, I'm really beginning to worry about lover boy. I don't want to lose that pig. If he's getting worse, maybe I better come out there tomorrow morning. Oh, I hope you come, Senorita. I am tired of cooking my own meals. I will be so happy to see your lovely face that I will kiss your hands. I will kiss your feet. Oh, Pedro, you mean your heart is full of love? Oh, senorita, the sink is full of dishes. <laughs> Buenas noches. Tasty banana. Well, Judy, where's Mickey Rooney? It's 8.30. Maybe he can't find the house. I guess I better go out and stand on the curb and watch for him. Well, you shouldn't be standing out on the street alone at night. You know Hollywood. I'll go with you. What a choice. <laughs> Gosh, I don't see a sign of a car on the street anywhere Judy, are you sure Mickey Rooney made a date with you for tonight? Yep, he made the date in the corner grocery store I was standing by the tomatoes and he picked me out Yep, he dropped, he dropped a note at my feet as, as he passed by Here's the note right here It says, meet me at 8 tonight, Mickey Rooney Here, let me see that note Uh <laughs> Well, Judy, your old trouble is cropping up again. You can't read. I can't read. Why, well, that note right there, it says, meet me at 8 tonight, Mickey Rooney. <laughs> Judy, this is a grocery list. It says, meat and potatoes tonight and macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, before you sing You Are My Sunshine, I would like to sing the praises of Colgate Tooth Powder. Friends, you know this is true, that no matter how attractive a person may look, they're not attractive to be with unless their breath is sweet. Right? Well, that's why it's so important for all of us to be sure that our breath is always sweet and wholesome. And friends, it's a scientific fact that in seven cases out of ten, Colgate Tooth Powder stops oral unpleasing breath instantly. Yes, Colgate Tooth Powder cleans your teeth. That lively, active foam penetrates right into the tiny, hidden crevices between your teeth. It goes to work right where much oral, unpleasing breath starts. And you'll be delighted, too, to see how Colgate Tooth Powder quickly reveals all the natural brilliance and sparkle of your teeth. So, for a breath that's sweet and a smile that dazzles, use Colgate Tooth Powder. May I repeat the name? Colgate Tooth Powder. Well, Judy, I'm sorry you didn't get your date with Mickey Rooney, but right now you have a date with all those boys in the service who have requested you to sing that old favorite, You Are My Sunshine. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken And I hung my head and 
cry. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when times are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I'll always love you and make you happy. If you will only stay the same, but if you leave me to love another, you regret it all someday. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. Thank you, folks. And now I want to talk to all the women folk are listening in. Pretty soon, our boys is going to invade Europe, and for months they've been getting all them explosives and ammunition together. You all know that waste kitchen fats helps make them bullets, so let's all get together, huh? Save all our waste fat and make it boom time for our boys. Please don't throw away even a teaspoonful of that waste fat, because just that little bit might make a bullet that some poor fellow in a foxhole might need to get back home safe. And ladies, it's the grease that you save that'll put the skids under them axis fellas. All you have to do is pour that fat in a clean metal container, and when you got a pound or more, take it to your butcher or meat dealer. And please don't let it set around the house. Take yours the first thing in the morning. You'll help feed our victory. Thanks. Shucks, you know, I could stand here and jaw with y'all all night, but I'm kind of worried about my pig lover boy, so I'll see y'all next Tuesday night at the same time. This is Judy Canova saying thanks a lot, and good night. Good night, Chet. Good night, Judy. This is Ken Nile saying, for a dress that's sweet and a smile that dazzles, use Colgate Tooth Powder starting tonight. See you all next Tuesday. is the 14-day palm olive plan. Yes, what is the 14-day palm olive plan? Ladies, it's easy. It has been proved to bring lovelier complexions to two out of three women. Here's all you do. Three times each day, clean your skin with palm olive soap. Then each time, take one minute more to massage palm olive's beautifying lather into your skin like a cream. Then, rinse. It sounds simple, but listen. 36 doctors proved this palm olive plan brings a lovelier complexion to two out of three women. No matter what type of skin you have, dry or oily, the 14-day palm olive plan really works. So get palm olive. See what palm olive can do for your skin in only 14 days. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.